Hello, hello everyone. On today's project, we're gonna resolve a pair of Red Wing 214 vintage mock toe. Now, this is the second pair one of my customers gave me. These are going to be my wear boots. Unfortunately, the other ones came out too heavy for me, and I'm actually selling those those boots. The first one, the ones with the double resole, they're just too heavy for me. Anyway, so I don't want to redo those boots, so I'm selling them. If you guys are interested, let me know. They're size ten and a half D, and they have a new footbed and Stormwell leather midsoles, Vibram Christie, and Vibram Claro leaf. Let's get to it. I'm not replacing this footbed because this is in in decent shape, way better than the than the first pair, so I'm keeping it. They have a gaming, but this is a whole fast. Mm -hmm. Just like the other pair. Yes, sir. You can tell right there.
All right, boots are ready. I tried to clean the uppers as much as possible. I think they came up pretty good. Good enough. Also, I was tempted to put a, um, a white wedge, but I wanted to have a defined heel, so now I decided to go with the 1705. This is a pretty comfortable sole. It is a lightweight sole, but it lasts longer than the Vibram 2060 and the 2021 because of the locks. So, this is a good sole, trust me. Now, the question is, should I keep him for a Sunday church? <laughs> now let me show you the other ones. They look almost the same. I mean, the boots are the same and the wrestle looks almost the same. But they're not. This is a double, double wrestle, double soles, storm well, brown. This is a flat well in natural. They both have leather mid soles, but this one have the 1705 and this one has the Vibram Christie and the Vibram Claro Leaf. So now let me show you the difference in weight, okay? Let's see. Let me move this a little bit. Right there. This is why I'm saying this came out too heavy for me. Right there, two and a half pounds, let's say. Uh, let's see the, the other ones. Ooh, can you see the difference? Oh my goodness. That's how much the double saw wrestles weight. That's the reason I can wear them. And like I said, I don't want to redo them, redo them again because it was a lot of work. So again, if, if someone is interested in those those boots, the heavy ones, let me know. Thank you guys for watching another video. Appreciate it. You guys have a nice weekend. I guess I'll see you on the next one. Ya terminamos otro otro video más. Estaba yo uh, diciendo que estaba a punto de ponerle un, un wet sole de esa de la suela blanca o color crema. Y sí, yo sé que se hubieran visto bien, pero yo quería un, una bota con tacón definido y otro tipo de suela. Pues entonces le puse esta 1705, que es muy muy cómoda y a pesar de ser una 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 suela muy 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 ligera. No se compara con el, con el Vibram 2060 y el 2021. Porque este es un Luxo. Pero tiene más, mucho, mucho más agarre que las dos mencionadas. O sea, definitivamente esta dura por mucho más que las otras dos mencionadas. Y también estaba diciendo que... Ay, que bueno, ya vieron, ¿no? La diferencia en peso. Pero bueno, se ven iguales porque son las mismas botas. 214 las dos. Pero pues una, ya saben, tiene un Storm Well. El otro tiene un Well natural y es plano, regular. Las dos tienen mid soles, pero esto tiene dos suelas. Y esta pues tiene una suela regular 1705. Y esta tiene el Vibram Christie y el Vibram Clutter Leaf. Y pesan mucho, ya vieron la diferencia. Yo teniendo los pies planos obviamente sentí la diferencia. Pero bueno, mencioné al principio, lo vuelvo a mencionar. Si alguien está interesado en, est en estas botas, las estoy vendiendo. Pues como ustedes saben, tiene un, tiene un footbed nuevo. O sea, prácticamente toda la fundación de la bota está nueva. Son del 10 y medio de, y bueno, 8 pulgadas. Si estás interesado, mándame un correo y ahí a ver qué podemos hacer, ¿sale? <ríe> Entonces, muchas gracias. Nos vemos en la próxima.